fans have made the journey to Manchester. They one or two unsavoury. The Europa League last season. All mix up for the uh, obligatory photograph. Referee tonight is Holland's Baz and played nearly 400 games. And there's Jevan Konoplanka, who's in the side tonight. Joe Hart will remember him. He exploded a bullet shot. Getting the run behind. Fernandinho was robbed in midfield by Konoplanka, the Ukrainian. Probably not going to worry too much about our criticisms. He's got a... Ibora's clever little nod down corner planker won't better keep it in play he thinks he might have had a corner kick but he's wrong about that goalkeeper Sergio Rico you would have worried about that a little bit if you were a Sevilla fan for one moment here's corner planker Tremolinas and he was playing in that game as well in the Champions League a few years ago draws at Tottenham and Bolton Zavaleta's header wasn't the most convincing can they get the delivery right? Oh, it's a terrific effort on target in the end. My goodness me, Kono Planka there nearly caught Joe Hart out. And Hart has to make another save as well for Ukraine against England. Whoa. Well, he's hit the post. Outside of the post, Joe Hart wasn't expecting that. I don't think anybody was. Very clever effort and a smart save from Joe Hart. Towards Kono Planka there. Almost as if to say, you nearly got me. It was a very clever piece of play from the Ukrainian. Koke to cut it back, Conor Planka to flick it on, and Otamendi to get it behind, but Sevilla looked full of bright ideas, and this fellow's... A... Flicked on dangerously across the face of goal, and then nearly... Uh, Kolodzashek caused all the problems there. Banega. I think this is a really inventive effort. Joe Hart would not have got there had it been another three or four inches inside the post. Conor Planka to take this one. A Stoke City player. Mangala wasn't quite sure of his bearings by the look of things. Conor Planka picks it up again. Good looking ball in towards Gamero. So that's a poor header. Gets himself in a bad position with his body. And then this ball whipped in. Really, really dangerous. Joe Hart, who's put in one or two brilliant performances in. Last couple of seasons in the Champions League for Manchester City. He might be quite busy again tonight. Benega has picked a beautiful ball here. Waiting in the middle is Gamero and stops Sevilla that time, who broke clear again. It was out of position. Look, he's looking round, turns the wrong way. It's a great ball in behind. Well done, Mangala. Comes across, sliding challenge and stops the shot. Won the title with them in France. Conor Planka. Lovely footwork from him, flicked on by Ibora, broken very well for them. Vitolo cuts it back, Kono Blanca, 1-0 to Sevilla. There's the payoff for all their attacking work and adventure. Yevan Kono Blanca with the goal. Joe Hart's remonstrating with the official behind Happy as the ball comes across the box. Jay, is it Kevin De Bruyne actually plays it to him? But you see here, as the ball comes across, Mangala's on his knees on the far side. He plays everybody on side. But Manchester City, they go to sleep. They all look towards the ball. Conor Plank is left completely unmarked. And in the end, it's a very simple. Sevilla and his team celebrate. And Yevhen Conor Planka, the Ukrainian, who's been outstanding so far. First forward with real pace and vigour. Did fantastically well. That goal was all about Yaya Toure. Real captain's role. Every minute of Euro. 2012 for France, not involved more recently with his country. Kono Planker again, Tremolinas. Tremolinas, cuts it back, Kono Planker again, he was looking to pass that one in, didn't quite get the angle right in truth, he came off Otamendi and went for a corner. Probably gets the benefit of the doubt, and look at the defence, all over the shop, Kono Planker had plenty of time to take a touch, 
went for the first one. post maybe should have gone far post I'm sure a few Liverpool fans are watching this and thinking I wish we'd side him Powered away by Yaya Torre for what should be a wonderful second half here at the Etihad. Manchester City 1, Sevilla 1 with analysis coming up with Jake and the boys in just a moment. Connor Planker on the chase and uh, the experienced Otto Mendy doing the covering. Played very well so far, Connor Planker. Lively down that left-hand side, fantastic delivery into the box. Eva Banega looks like he's just going to play a, a little deeper than previously, picks it up. He looks at... I'm wondering if that might be Connor Planka. yeah it is. I think, is it Navas just catches him? Oh, come on. It's on his knee. Ooh. A little bit sore, yes. It doesn't have to stay down for three or four minutes. I think Physio's that... just about coming on now. Yep. It looks like that's hurting, though, for Yevhen Corner Planka. Are you seeing Michael Krohn daily, the uh, intelligent Danish attacking player who's just struggling with that, isn't he? Seems really strange. It seems very minimal contact. As Jesus Navas just followed through. Just seems to be moving reasonably OK. Raids forward from right back, but now he's got to get back because the break's on. It's Corner Planka. Apparently fully fit again. Corner Planka. Drifted past the City defenders like they weren't there. Playing on the counter-attack. I just want to see Yaya Torre get close. Molinas. Always wants to join the attack. Corner Planka again. Camero waiting in. Injured, has he? at the moment he looks in some sort of trouble all out of play but he right. looks in some Banega, the Argentine player he has had an injury recently which is probably why he's not going to do the full 90 here and Crone Daly who's back from injury comes on an experienced player who might handle a few of the set pieces as well he also scored in that win over Barcelona his only goal so far for uh, Sevilla.